Oh, Gavin Eisenbeis. Gavin Eisenbeis. Oh, well done. Well done. What a lovely game. What a lovely game. What a lovely, 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 lovely game. I wanted to talk about an injustice that I saw before I started playing this, which was that IGN, and you never rely on IGN's reviews of anything ever, right? You would not believe the score they gave this game. They gave this game a 4 out of 10. I've played so many indie games. I've played so many indie games. This had great moments, great atmosphere, it, it was fun. It had moments that dragged, sure. And it had like things that were unpolished. It was made by one guy. I know, a four. Like I'd, I'd understand being like, oh, you know, it's a little rough around the edges. Oh, I'd add some times it drags. Like maybe a, I, if they were like, eh, seven and a half, I'd be like, all right, sure, yeah. No, it's not a perfect game. Yeah, I know, a four, a four, a four, and eh, whatever. Anyway, that's why like, that's why I know it's tough reviewing games and giving them a score. That's why I like, I don't give scores. Just don't give scores. Who cares about scores anymore? No one cares about scores. Look at my train. That game was great. I love that. I think that's super fun. I had a great time doing that. I had a great time playing that. I bet you had a great time watching that. And also a bonus jump scare to make sure you guys know that the game was still scary, even for someone who plays horror games for a living. This, uh, I, I'm keeping it purple in honor of uh, Bob. Speed's fully upgraded. Okay. I guess I have to upgrade other things, but I'm not. Oh, frick. Where is it? Where is it? Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! And then we have Jacksepticeye. And that's just the end. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that was so much fun. I love that. You get in, you start the game, it's silly, it's over the top, it's balls to the wall, you finish it, the credits roll immediately, no one around to talk to you. That was so much fun. I just love a game with a good upgrade system, you know? Even, like, anything, anything, I think that's why I like FromSoft so much. You get in, you upgrade your stuff, you get stronger, 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 stronger. I like that. This game was like that as well, you get in, you upgrade all of your damage, you just keep going, go, go, go. That was Choo Choo Charles. A nice, simple, quick game. Love that. Love like a good two to three hour game that you can just get in, sink your teeth into, doesn't overstay its welcome, get out. Super fun. That was great. 10 out of 10. Fantastic game. I enjoyed every minute of that and I hope you did too. Then Insim, someone who mainly plays Phasmophobia, which is a horror game, he plays that for a living on YouTube. <laughs> what a game. Well done. That was sick. What just complete nuts to bucks action till the credits. That is like the most quality over quantity game I've played in a very long time. That type of quality is very rare for the indie horror scene. So absolute hats off to the de developer of this game. Uh, we are literally 100%ed it. We got all 24 achievements, 100% achievements. Amazing. I had a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, it took us about none, like little less than three hours to complete the whole thing. Uh, amazing graphics, really satisfying missions, some really funny quests, the pickle quest, the Slenderman quest, uh, and just really fast paced, like in a lovely way. Please, another game like this, yes. With, with like a big publisher with a lot, with like a huge budget, that'd be amazing. Like, cause this game, all it needs is like more length. That's a good ending. All right. What an incredible game. So yeah, I uh, that game is literally keep it this quality and then just more of the same. Because what I really don't like, what a lot of games do, especially a game like this that is like goes open world, is that they go for like quantity over quality where the quests become like... Because here the quests were fetch quests, but every single quest that was a fetch quest was literally like walk three steps to a building that's right here grab something give it to me you get 30 scraps like it was all it was just like a vessel to give you the story it was not like here waste 15 minutes going to the other part of the map because when i saw this map layout and i saw like all these switches that you had to go through i was like 
It's going to be very annoying to traverse this map to have to go from point A to point B all the time. But you saw me watch the map like very rarely. Like I obviously I looked at the map, but I didn't like constantly have to go. OK, here we got to switch this place and the switch. And then we got to go there and this and this. And it, you didn't like need the whole freaking train degree to be able to traverse this map, which is very easy. You could like I basically passed through the whole map like twice. And that's all I did to get literally every quest, every paint can every option uh, required story mission obvi uh, obviously so yeah i had a lovely time i hope you had a fun time watching as well let me know what you thought of this game absolute hats off to the dev team very well done would love to see a second game i hope you guys are gonna make one because it seems like you are and i'm ready there for i'm gonna be there for it then we have a pit ryan the game wraps up just like that no post credits that's it i was expecting a little you know you did it man let's get back to the main shot we get nothing like that though. You see? Wow, the whole family seemed to be on the, in on this one. That's really cool, man, to see everyone come together like that. Congrats. What more can I say? This was really fun through and through. Just great experience. Maxed out the train, did all the side quests, spend my time also just exploring around. This was so good. What a great adventure, man. And what a nice screen to, you know, see this game out with. Just, that's it. They just show us this. What an epic ending though for such a game, like, so cool. I, you've got to be satisfied. It's a game that did exactly what it wanted to do. You are being hunted down by a killer train. You have to use this train here to gear up, get ready to fight him. We did that. We fought him. And then we went and we killed the train. That's the whole objective of this game. And I would I would say it did serve it. I would say that the AI was a little bit too kind of like snappy. Like it almost felt too kind of like punishing. You couldn't really do any sneaking in the game. So I'm not sure maybe it would have been better if there was like a between the different states of finding someone and them doing their patrol. If there was like a, a kind of cautious phase where they go and investigate before alerting completely. Also, the NPC missions at times were a little bit kind of just go and do this rather than like, I guess, anything too crazy. Like this dude here, we just came down here, planted the bombs and went back up. That was, it was very simple. That's not to say it's a bad game though. I found the whole experience here very enjoyable. It set out to do one thing and I think it excelled. So Gavin, man, I gotta say, you absolutely killed it with this one. Congratulations on the release of Choo Choo Charles. I think everyone is gonna have a really fun time playing this. And that's the thing, I would encourage people to also pick this game up for themselves and play it because the... I guess the instances where you meet Charles, they are always unique. It keeps the game completely randomized. So your experiences will differ from mine 100%. IGP. Holy shit. That was so cool. That was so cool. What a fun little game. That was insane. I did not expect it to go to that level where he's from hell. These insane powers. Teleportation. Jesus Christ, dude became Super Saiyan. Now there may be like a new game plus or something added where maybe it's more difficult. I would like some difficulty settings. I feel like as I was maxed out, it was relatively easy to fight off Charles. Like he did, he barely did any damage ever to the train. And Hell Charles was tough, but he really didn't hit me that much. I know I didn't explore probably everything. I did all the missions, but there's probably a lot to explore that will eventually get you more scrap. But I did, I think I did it all. I hope you guys enjoyed. I waited a long time to play this. It was incredibly enjoyable. It was everything that I expected it to be, honestly, but better. I enjoyed that. Well done on that game. I had a lot of fun and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Gaming Beaver. Well done. Well freaking done. You j that was brilliant. Who did Pickles? I wonder who did Pickles. No, I missed Pickles. <laughs> that was so much fun. Wow, like the concept, like I like a little bit of a grind. I like to have, you know, that advancement when you're constantly uh, like upgrading stuff. But I also like it when it's not too, like especially the side missions that are not too in detail. And the fact that each side mission didn't repeat, it was always something different. So much fun. A beautiful game that was well executed and that's all it needed to be. It doesn't need to be a franchise. It doesn't need to be too crazy. Pyrocynical. That is it. That is the game. Thank you, Gavin, for making it. I like that. I like that. For 15 quid, we got like, what did we get? Like three hours out of that? I like that. It's cute. Oh. I can't believe he died though, man. Rip Charles. Rip Charles. Thank you to Gavin and everyone else who was involved. That was a good game. We likey. And then finally, Manly Badass Hero. 
Having took rocket launchers, I don't think a fall is gonna kill it. Oh, that could kill it. Choo choo Charles. That's really the ending. You just. It's straight to the point that you killed Charles. That's the objective of the game. It's over. They say consistent. It's just like. Choo choo Charles. Ski I kill Choo choo Charles. That's it. Done. Like, why is the screen shaking? So, that's it for Choo Choo Charles. I do like the little touch of the menu screen where, like, it shows the upgrade of your current train. It's like it's a fully upgraded train, so, like, yeah, that's what's on the menu screen now. But yeah, so this game was very viral. It, its trailer got a lot of traction because of the. Basically, the premise is ridiculous. To most people, I guess, not to me. And it was just very straight to the point. Here's a scary spider train. You gotta kill it. And that's kind of what the game delivered. I did notice in the Steam forums for this, for the people like, ex like uh, expecting the upcoming release, that a lot of them were like, oh, it's gotta have multiplayer, and it wouldn't be a bad idea of co-op, if they can do it. But they're like, oh, it's gotta be do this, or this, so that we can have like extended lifespan. But I don't really think that's the goal of the developer. I think the goal of the developer was just, you kill Charles and that's it. It's just a little funny, kind of smallish game, actually. It's pretty small skill, it's over pretty quick. I think there was an expectation going by um, the audience, and I, I think this might be reflected in some of the comments as I observe them over the coming days, is that people were thinking this was going to be a really extended, long-term battle. Like, over hours and hours, like, just Charles stalking you and this and that. Like, a lot of train upgrades, a lot of this, a lot of that. And, like, no, it's it's very scaled down. Like, we got the max upgrades almost, almost at the start of the game, you saw. Now, is that the case of the developer scaled back? their intentions? I don't really think so. And I think the game is fun. You know, like, it, I actually kind of like that it's kind of shorter and it's over with. We don't really extend the gag too long. If you extend the gag too long and made this long extended hunt, then it, it would kind of like just get kind of boring. You'd be like, alright, it's a spider train. And you want to know something that's kind of funny? All the people who genuinely like video games, i.e. create content on video games nearly every day, actually like Choo Choo Charles. Now, not to say that some people don't, but after collecting around 20 live streams, nine of them actually talked about if they liked the game or not. They mainly found it to be a good video game. Now, I want to stress this a lot. Even though some critics gave the game a bad score, some gave it a good score. And yes, I put nine clips of gamers saying the game was good, but there are gamers who think the game is bad. I do believe IGN is just a drama pumping machine, always trying to be in some headlines for a good reason or bad reason, and any publicity is good publicity for them. I also want to bring up the Steam reviews because I briefly mentioned them, but I want to go more in depth. With 6,000 positive reviews and 600 negative reviews, let's look into why some people don't like the game. Great game, not worth $20 just to 100% complete the game in 3 hours. Fun game, awesome concept, good graphics, but a bit expensive for a game that lasts 2 hours. I hope there will be a sequel with some replayability. Overall, the game has potential, but it's not worth the money yet. Okay, so this is a hard review. I really enjoyed the game, but, and this is a big but, I cannot recommend this game at its current price. It's priced a bit steep for a game that most people I've seen have beaten the game in three hours with 100% achievements. The story, yes, there is a story if you look for it, is stretched thin across some notes and some narratives from other various quest NPCs. Couple both those with some pretty bad optimization overall. I just can't recommend it to people at full price. If you can get it on sale, great. It's a cool spooky concept, but the game is one to two hours long with very little replayability outside of hunting down cosmetics in the form of paint. Within that one to two hour time frame, you are subjected to industry standard game paddling with NPCs usually tasking you with the fetch quests so they can give you scrap to upgrade your train. Now to see why people liked the game. Very fun, and the fact that IGN gave this a 4 out of 10 proves they are a dead corporate website. It's short, beat the game with 100% achievements in 3 hours, but was a good time. The game could use some optimization as frame rates were inconsistent. Self was easily cheesed by just running back to my train and gunning down those goons with my machine gun. Overall, I had fun with Choo Choo Charles and hope to see more from the developer. Choo Choo! Only complaint is that there wasn't more because it was fun. Good story, great mechanics, but maybe not $20, I'd say $10, but then again, I'm a schmuck who that paid full price. Very fun game, but I don't think the amount of playtime warrants the $20 price tag. If it's on sale for $10 or less, it is definitely worth the buy. Even though I felt it was slightly overpriced, I still really enjoyed the game. And now time for some interesting reviews, and these reviews are some of the most funny that the Steam Collective agreed upon. Amazing game, but you can't romance the train. 
trains in Ohio. And then <sighs> the train has legs, 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 on and on and on. And one of the huge takeaways we can take from these reviews is that the problem is the time and the money. But in this context, they're actually the same thing. It is not worth the money because it doesn't give you a lot of time playing the game. And the time is so short, it's not worth the money. 